Hi and welcome back. Today we're talking about the International Mobility Programme, or IMP, which is a way of allowing Canadian employers to hire foreign workers to come to Canada as temporary workers without a Labour Market Impact Assessment, or LMIA. More great things about this programme are that the IMP gives you an open work permit, allowing you to work for any employer in Canada, and could enable you to move to Canada in as little as two weeks. Also, there's no language test required, and you only need a high school education to be eligible. Sounds good? Let's see how the IMP works. We'll talk you through the requirements of the programme and how to apply for it. To begin, it's important to understand that the IMP is different from the Temporary Foreign Worker Programme, which is how most workers come to Canada. The Temporary Foreign Worker Programme is labour market driven and does require an LMIA. In short, the Temporary Foreign Worker Programme is a way of allowing Canadian employers to hire foreign nationals to fill labour shortages in their area or province, whereas the International Mobility Programme allows Canadian employers to hire foreign workers without an LMIA provided the position serves Canada's cultural and economic interests. Without the need for an LMIA, it means the processing time is considerably quicker, simpler and cheaper than the application process for the Temporary Foreign Worker Programme. To be eligible for the International Mobility Programme, you have to fit into one of the following categories. Workers entering Canada as part of a trade programme. People entering Canada on an open work permit. Workers entering Canada as intra-company transferees graduates holding a post-graduation work permit who have recently graduated from a Canadian designated learning institution, people from reciprocal youth exchange agreements such as the International Experience Canada, or those on a bridging open work permit for people who would like to work in Canada and are in a transition phase before becoming a permanent resident. Trade agreements such as the Canada-United States-Mexico Agreement or the Comprehensive Economic Trade Agreement are essentially agreements between countries which allow free movement of business people. Intra-company transfers mean that the company you work for currently has, or plans to open, a branch of the company in Canada and can offer you a position there, making you an intra-company transferee. Generally speaking, anyone who comes to work in Canada on a Canadian work permit will require an LMIA, which means that an employer must prove that there is no Canadian citizen or permanent resident who could do the job. And after advertising it within Canada for a period of time, they had no choice but to hire a foreign worker. Obtaining a positive LMIA is quite difficult and you will have to prove that you are the only person who can fill the position. So it's easy to see why being LMIA exempt is very appealing. Employers hiring through the IMP don't need to show that they have exhausted their search for a local candidate. They can just offer the job directly to the foreign worker. Positions which are LMIA exempt have to do one of two things either provide broad economic, cultural or other competitive advantages for Canada or provide reciprocal benefits for Canadian citizens and permanent residents. Essentially, you need to either bring skills which are not otherwise found easily in Canada or create jobs or employment for Canadians. It sounds a little too good to be true, so let's have a look at how the IMP actually works. First of all, it is employer driven. Candidates don't apply through the IMP, employers do. They first have to register with the IRCC's employer portal and once registered they submit an official job offer via this portal. As well as proving that the job or worker meets the requirements for the LMIA exemption, the employer also has to pay a $230 compliance fee. But this is not required for candidates who already have an open work permit or for workers in certain specific positions such as research positions or charitable or religious work. Within the portal, the employer must also list complete details of the job which they are offering, such as the full list of duties, uh, the minimum education requirement, the experience required and the wages being offered, including benefits. Once the work permit application is approved, the foreign worker will receive either a new work permit if they're already in Canada or a letter of introduction if they're outside Canada, which will be exchanged for a work permit at the port of entry. The International Mobility Programme provides only a temporary work permit. But once you have arrived in Canada and begun working, you will be able to apply for your permanent residence after just 12 months of employment through the Canadian Experience Class stream of the Express Entry Programme. So the final question is, how do you find employers in Canada who are willing and able to hire workers through the International Mobility Programme? If you don't have any existing connections or job opportunities in Canada, the place to start is the Canada Job Bank. 
This is a comprehensive list of all the jobs which are being advertised currently in Canada. There are a number of filters you can use on this site, including one which shows only employers who are able to hire foreign workers. The link is in the description box below, so let's take a look at how you find employers. First, you need to choose where to search. You can either search across the whole of Canada or narrow down your search to a specific area. So to do this, click on the advanced button and choose your province. Let's search in the province of Manitoba and then choose your specific region. Let's look in the Winnipeg region. Looking at the left hand side of the screen, scroll almost all the way to the bottom and check the box that says temporary foreign workers. Then scroll back up and click view the results. Here you can see that you are only viewing jobs from Canadian employers who want to recruit temporary foreign workers. And if we click on the first job, you can see the box which says this employer has applied for a labour market impact assessment to hire a foreign worker to fill labour or skills shortages on a temporary basis. Here you will find all the jobs which you can apply for as a foreign worker whilst you are still outside of Canada. For each job posting you can also see further details like salary, hours and start date and of course if you want to you can also use the filters to narrow down the search to your field of interest. So there you have it, the International Mobility Programme, its requirements and how to find an employer. It's a great programme and an extremely quick way of getting work in Canada. Best of luck with your job search and let us know how you're getting on if you're currently looking for a job in Canada. And don't forget to hit subscribe on your way out. See you next time.